Welcome to Six Degrees News, and today we have Kiran Pereira, who is the founder and chief storyteller of Sand Stories, a platform dedicated to creating awareness about the little-known global environmental crisis of sand mining. The vision of the organization is to bring together stakeholders to find and promote solutions. Kiran is also the author of a forthcoming book of the same name. Uh, welcome, Kiran. Hi, and thank you very much. I would like to um, ask you a couple of questions mm -hmm. about your uh, work and about sand mining. Sure. Uh, can you please tell us something about um, this whole, what is this global sand mining crisis or what is the crisis around sand? So, Basically, it's um, a global crisis that we that very few people know about. Um, the world is slowly beginning to face a sand crisis, uh, primarily because we're using it up um, at unsustainable rates. Um, there is still plenty of sand in the world, except that it's not where we want it. It's not the kind of sand that we need to be used as a resource, and it's not where we want it. So um, that's why there's a crisis developing. Um, there are impacts of mining it indiscriminately. It impacts biodiversity. It impacts, uh, there are social impacts. There are geopolitical impacts, many other impacts. Uh, that's why there's a growing sand crisis. And how did you get involved, motivated to work on this issue? Well, for me, it was quite personal. I grew up in Bangalore in India. And uh, out there, um, it's very common to see trucks filled with sand going up and down the country. Um, at the same time, because I, I was always interested in environmental stuff, I constantly read reports about rivers being damaged because of sand mining. Um, and this contradiction sort of got to me and I wondered, you know, uh, we can't, every, every building that we see around us, every parking lot, every bridge, every airport, e all infrastructure requires sand, all concrete requires sand. And this is not something we can build without. Uh, so it got me thinking. And when I decided to pursue my master's in um, King's College London, I decided to take this topic up uh, and research it further. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's how I began this uh, researching this topic. Okay, that's uh, very interesting that you have taken uh you know, like working on this topic, which is uh, not really very well known, but it's a, it's, it's a very important issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also mentioned that like you're writing a book on it. What mm -hmm. is this book about? Uh, it's basically about creating information, uh, creating awareness about this particular global crisis. Um, and uh, um, so Sand Stories, that's the organization, we have found that this problem occurs in over 70 countries across the world. So that's huge. To say it's underreported would be an understatement, you know. Um, so uh, the book, the idea of writing this book is to, is to make information available, is to break down information barriers, to make information available in an easy, accessible manner. Um, I want the book to communicate not just the scale of the problem, but also the impacts that um, that we're beginning to see across the world. Uh, but most importantly, I want the book to communicate what solutions are available to us, both immediate as well as long term. So that's the uh, hope and vision of the book. When you say solutions, you are looking for alternatives to sand. Yes, alternatives to sand, uh, policy solutions, uh, many different kinds of solutions. I don't think we have a silver bullet that would solve all problems, but um, depending on the context and depending on various situations, there are solutions. For example, uh, 
some uh, industries are beginning to use recycled aggregate, others are beginning to use uh, quarry dust and things like that. So um, these are solutions that I'd like uh, to put together, compile together and present it. So, um, you know, we have a starting point and we can go forward from there. Okay, that's very interesting. And uh, you're also running a campaign on your book. Is, can you please uh, a little bit add on that? Sure. That's right. Um, so I decided to uh, take a non-traditional route of publishing the book. Um, this is a quite an innovative platform. It's called Publishizer. Um, it acts as an online literary agent and connects, you, connects authors with um, publishers. So the more pre-orders you get, the, the bigger the publisher the book will attract. Um, and I'm hosting a campaign there. Um, it's live until April 3rd, and you can check it out. It's publishizer.com sand hyphen stories. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kiran. Uh, and we wish you uh, good luck with your publication and for your work on sand mining. Six Degrees News will definitely like to review and cover once your book is published. It would be my honor. Thank you so much for featuring me.